Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we have another custom repaint. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you guys can tell, this is Archer from the movie Small Soldiers. This is, I think, the fourth uh, video I'm making on the Gorgonites. Um, I already have three videos uploaded if you guys want to go check those out this is the fourth video um this is archer obviously uh this is the leader of the gorgonites and uh i just made him i made him look a little bit more like the movie accurate than um it's not 100 percent accurate i know i have a lot of comments where people will say um in my previous paint uh that oh this has this or this has this other thing or uh you missed this or you missed that I understand that a hundred percent I'm not mad at you guys for doing it by the way you guys could go ahead and comment whatever you guys want to comment it won't offend me in any way uh, I know you guys everybody has their own opinion that's completely fine I'm not mad at you guys for doing it I just know for a fact that I'm just letting you guys know that not every single little thing is gonna be exactly the same but this is as accurate as I could get it to the movie figure if that makes any sense Anyways, uh, as far as compared to the other figure, um, as far as articulation, if you guys don't have one of these, of course, like all small soldiers figures, it just goes, uh, both arms go all the way around. His legs kick out that much, his legs kick out that much. Same thing for this one. Um, and his waist swivels, of course. His head swivels or nods, uh, but it doesn't go. It's not a, a ball point, a ball peg so it won't move all around it just from side to side but all figures all small soldier figures are like that except the one that i made if i don't know if you guys saw that one i also made a figure of um uh, oh man his his name skips my mind right now what's his name ah uh, forget his name not nick nitro not brick bazooka not chip hazard but um, Kip Killian, there you go, Kip Killian, I made a Kip Killian video, um, and I made him, um, I made, a, I made his elbows bend, so that was the only figure on the line that I made that could actually bend, um, his elbow, so his arm goes up and down, stuff like that, so if you guys haven't seen that video, go back and check out that video so you guys know what I'm talking about, anyways, this one I think came out really, really well, I really like the way this guy came out, um, I was kind of impressed with myself for <laughs> what i painted i know right here it has like a little eagle looking thing um i know but this thing is really really small and really thin uh for me to get like the eagle detail in there to make it look like the actual one from the movie it's gonna be pretty hard i mean i could try but I, it won't i guess i could try but i don't know i i, I kind of like it better like this um but yeah let me show you uh the comparison with the original one or what it looked like before the repaint uh so you guys could see the comparison uh, as you guys could see the toes are painted and his feet are painted a little bit more brown this thing is more like a greenish um kind of like a green leaf almost not really leaf but like a dying leaf um olive looking kind of bone at the bottom looking thing so um it was kind of hard to figure it out because most of the small soldiers movie is it's a little dark you know uh, most of the shots where the toys are at they're a little bit dark um there's a reason for that because they're puppets so sometimes when they move them with the little rods and stuff like that they want to hide it as much as possible so a lot of the movie shots where the figures are at it's a little dark most of the time i'm not saying all the time but most of the time a little dark anyways so as far as comparison if you guys look at these uh, i painted all this completely different this little band right here it's gold can you guys spot the difference <laughs> that was pretty dumb that was something i learned back in like i think it was like i don't know first or second grade can you guys spot the difference and you have to compare both of them to see guys anyways <laughs> Uh, this one right here, uh, the face, it's a lot more different. You guys can see there's a lot more shading in there. 
as opposed to this one there's no shading his beard is a little bit darker it's got the white there no white there his teeth are a little bit lighter here than there is here uh, his eyebrows are also darker here his hair is darker his ears are darker um, the top part looks more like a bone there than it does here it just looks gray uh, the belts a lot more shaded uh, there's green in the little uh, emblem there with black uh, well it's not really black um, the, the color's not really picking up but it's like a shiny metallic black that's what it looks like um, but yeah you guys could see all the little detail in there and here's just regular painted just flat paint put a little bit of detail there and a little bit of detail in the muscle area there a little muscle tone uh, same thing here you guys can see a little little, little shading in there um, the band of course and once again the arm pieces are all colored uh, the underwear is more darker here this is a little bit more darker than this uh, this is painted gold this is not painted get a little closer uh, I put some little black shading into it so you guys could see uh, these details a lot it pops the details a little bit more as opposed to this as you guys could see there's really not that much detail into this one uh, but this one it is a bunch of detail here's the bottom parts and that's basically it but um, as far as this guy I, I think I think this guy came out really really cool it looks I of all the other ones I painted I think this one came out more accurate except for this I know guys this isn't <laughs> completely accurate I understand that and also this is uh, gold and then as far as these little spikes here um, the reference pictures when you go Google this these these figures you don't really get like accuracy you know what I mean um, I have to go back and watch the actual movie and try to get little clips of it try to snap little shots of it before you know before the scene keeps going to get like details of it um as far as this went when i first painted it when i first saw it when i was i was getting references on google this was uh, like a gold color and this was more of like a silver color and then i kept looking at pictures and then it just ended up being like a brown and then this gold and this gold so i had to repaint it a little few times here and there so as far as this goes i don't know if it's like a bone color I don't know if it should be a bone color or it should be uh, gold. But I just stuck with gold because it looked really cool gold. So um, I'm sorry. I know all you big fans out there, you guys might say, uh, no, it's supposed to be bone, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave it gold because it looks cool gold. And uh, yeah, anyways, like I said, it's not going to be 100% accurate to the movie, but it's going to be a lot closer than, you know, the original figures. So uh I think that looks a lot more like the movie than that does. Anyways, um, move that guy off the side. So, yeah, this is completely done. And I love the way it turned out. So, uh, and I do have another character that I want to show you guys. Uh, this dude, Punch It. Uh, he does come with Scratch It, of course. Uh, and I did repaint this guy as well. Give him the little yellow spots there and all that. I repainted all this to be a little bit darker. A little paint the emblem there. Paint all the little yellow spots here and there. And also a little there. Give him a little bit more of a shading here and there. Make the teeth pop a little bit more. Put more shading in the face right there. So yeah. Uh, I did a little extra on him as well. So he actually goes on the little piece that goes on um punches back but um the guy that ordered these for me he didn't have the piece so um yeah so i didn't get to paint that piece so anyways he goes something like that on top so yeah he's 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 all done if you guys haven't seen the video for this the videos uh on my channel go check it out if you guys want to look at the review of this guy As far as Archer goes, we are completely done with the review. With the review, review, it's just one review. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, uh, enough with the review. Uh, we are done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.